Back in April, Saxo Bank's chief economist, Dean Jacobson, made what was widely reported to be a controversial call. Sell up, he said, and take a holiday from the markets. Now, after one of the most volatile weeks in years, he's saying it's time to get back to work. So in April, I had this uh, call which caught quite a few headlines that you should go on holiday. I think now is the time you get back to work. But in, in the same analogy, what you do right now is you look through every single metric you have, every single asset class, every single single product you want to buy. You look at where has it been, where is it going, where is the incoming economic picture. And I think what you'll find is that for the balance of the year, we probably see noise in terms of Federal Reserve. Will they hike or will they not? Personally, I remain with the call that they will hike. Uh, when that's done, you look at the reaction for the market from a technical point of view because you ask me as a strategist, if you ask me as a trader, I'll say we'll have to have a retest of the recent low probably to half a confirmation. That is the low. If it fails, that's another 10%. But right now, it looks like it's a 10% correction. And into that correction, there'll be noise. But for me, I'm slowly, gradually restarting the engine and starting to pick up assets, which I've been in love with for a long time. On the currency side, the Aussie representing China, commodities, and a weaker dollar. And on, on the terms of the sectors and, and things, I, I think there are selected very good bank plays uh, into this environment. And I think there's selected very good energy and commodity plays to be had. The start of the week saw extreme turmoil on the markets. So how does Steen sum up what happened? The consequences of a very strong dollar finally came home to roost in terms of the market understanding it. Most people seem to believe that it is the Chinese devaluation that started all this, but that became more of a catalyst. And as is very often the case when you have a correction, you sort of have some sign that, that people react on, but the underlying cause is very different. In this case, it is the strong dollar. A strong dollar doesn't benefit anyone when you have a fiat economy, which means that you have ability to leverage and, and multiply capital in the banks. And the reserve currency is the US running a huge current account deficit. When everyone else sees a strong dollar, when everyone else finances himself, you have a margin call on a debt. The margin call on a debt makes the dollar stronger. Dollar goes stronger. Commodity cycle starts to go uh, further to the downside. And then you have you know, practical uh, imbalances in terms of supply and demand as you have in the oil sector. And then that you end up everyone else, else, everyone having to pay a price. The price is lower global growth, which means lower top line growth potential for the companies and unfortunately another year where we didn't get to these uh, promising growth target that uh, uh, policy, policy institution and, and, and politician continues to, to promise us. And could we see a repeat of Black Monday? I don't think anything ever repeats the same way. The market always learns from it. The market becomes more cautious. You'll find, I found this week traveling uh, in Europe, that people are far more cautious than they've been. You know, a month ago, I couldn't, you know, get through a door before I was blasted back by all this positivity. Now everyone is a little bit more neutral, all looking to buy still. For me personally, I think it's about a playbook. You know, in, a, in American football, you have a playbook of rules. You need to throw that out. You need to realize there's going to be a two-way street. There's going to be a lot of noise. And the only thing that remains cheap after this correction is the place I've been continuing to talk about, and that is the emerging market, which has had the first biggest fallout. It is the energy sector, but of course, on a very selective basis and with very strong risk protection uh, mandate in place if you do this trade. But that's where you have the proper and, and fundamental value, because if the economy is stabilizing, so will the demand for commodity. If the dollar starts to come off, you have a relatively quick move off the lows from both emerging market and commodities.